pieces of history were destroyed over the weekend when people broke into and vandalized multiple train cars at the Macomb City Railroad Museum. WHLT's Katie Rowe talked to the last living founder of the museum. It's just such a shame to see this happen to such a, a nice piece of history. 17 years ago, Winnie Lynn Howell and Edwin Etheridge founded the Macomb City Railroad Museum. The two came together after the city asked Etheridge to move his personal collection of assorted railroad items to the area. They asked us to work together, and, and we did. It took us three years from 2000 to 2003 to get the museum ready. And once the museum was completed, it just continued to grow until it became the home to more than three train cars. But over the weekend, those historic train cars were vandalized. Really discouraging. We're told police contacted museum officials Saturday night around 1030 about the vandalism, but it wasn't until the next day that anyone could see how bad the damage actually was. They tore off the furniture, um, just, just broke it. Throw it down, I guess. I, just anything they could pick up and throw, they broke. Busted at light fixtures that were built into the walls in, in the 1880s. Now they are trying to assess the damage, but they tell us no dollar amount can equal the history destroyed. It's very disheartening, very discouraging. Um, it just hurts. It's the loss of history that can't be replaced. Police have arrested two juveniles in connection with the burglary and are getting a warrant for one more. Connect you to Pine Belt News, Katie Rowe, WHLT 22. Right now, the focus is on setting up a security system before any more steps are taken. They're trying to raise $37,000 for the system and are asking for any donations. They need about $16,000 more. Today, 